Alright guys, I'm just here to show you exactly what I use to stream and what you guys can use to stream as well. Don't think of it as a daunting task. We're going to go through what I use, why I use it, and what's so great about it. So I use XSplit, as you can tell here. It gives me all this flexibility. I can change things on the fly. You can see my logo there at the top. If I don't want the logo, boom, it's gone. I can increase the size, everything real time. Um, it lets me change my resolution as you can see here so if you want to make a really big HD screen high quality or you want to compress things down it's, it's all at your fingertips um, if, if I want to broadcast I click one button and then I click on my broadcast link right here uh, it's perfect the people who are making this thought you know I just want it to be one click and then there you go you're broadcasting I don't know how it can get any easier than that you click it once you're broadcasting live all you have to do is put in your information under settings I could be gaming in a second, or if you want to switch back to something else, all you do is you go like that, and I mean, there you are. It's just, it's so flexible. It allows you to, you know, do whatever you want, add pictures however you want, and other programs like Flash Media Encoder or SCFH, DSF, um, I know that's, that's a mouthful, don't worry about it. Uh, they just don't give you this level of flexibility with your program, they don't give you this much control and it's not this easy look I'm just moving it at the edge and it's you know responding directly live to my commands so I can add pictures as you can see here I can add a camera I can add a screen region a specific area let's say I want to zoom in right on you know this tree here of Terraria boom I'm, I'm zoomed in right there on that tree and I can you know lar make this larger smaller whatever I want um, it seems kind of absurd I know it's just I had to do something random so <laughs> to keep it kinda light regardless like you get all this at your you know all within your grasp it's, it's super simple super easy and another important point is how advanced is the program how powerful is it and just from a coding background there's other programs that don't take advantage of multiple cores which means if you have multiple processors in your computer um, and, but this does so if I'm using flash media encoder I may not be able to use all my eight cores in my computer but uh, XSplit actually has a preset that sh that lets you choose how much processing power you want and that'll in dramatically I've seen from um, if you go at the slowest preset but you know let me just show you what I mean here for a second so if you go here's the XSplit default right and this is paint right now so <laughs> I didn't want to save it as a that's how lazy I was I didn't even save it as a picture file but anyways uh, if you go to XSplit default this isn't using very much computer resources then there's ultra fast as you go lower there's more and more resources being used um, to, by your computer to make your stream look nicer there's it just looks better and better and better it, some sort of algorithm that they mentioned and this is a function that I remember I used to be at this default right here I used to be here and my stream quality is nowhere near where it is now right now I'm at faster I could actually go to medium or slower um, but at this point I think this is like the sweet spot for me I get very 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 high quality I get no problems with my PC my PC barely feels the extra PC power that it's using um, and my stream quality is just dramatically better so if you want quality if you want control um, you guys saw it's just this this gives you everything so I would say you know go with XSplit you can add pictures you know at the fly you can add you know um, flash as you can see here in SWF plugins titles soon they're gonna be able they're gonna be adding something called game sourcing so you'll be able to go into a game directly source the feed into exploit so I guess that'll help with full screening the only thing I would say that I, I want added that currently I haven't seen is multiple file type support right now every file you make in exploit is an FLV which helps a lot because it compresses the data and it makes this file very small but that makes editing files a little bit hard so if they let you you know make your files as AVs or MPEGs or WNVs instead of FLVs that's the only support that I would like personally but besides that I mean I like XSplit more than FRAPS, FME, SCFH, HDSF 
it's just if you need a program if you want to stream games if you just want to be able to click one button to stream there's only one program right now that gives you that I mean I just click this one button and there you go I'm streaming in honestly like four or five seconds it's, it's, it couldn't be easier um, I have full control over my resolution I can make these videos HD as big or as small as I want I can do you know whatever I want to do I have full control with with XSplit and I can't say that about a lot of programs so that's what I use that's why I use it and I mean that's those are some of the things that are so great about it um, there's a lot of advanced features I didn't go over but I just want to make a quick video this is the program you want you want to go to XSplit.com and you'll be able to do whatever you want with your stream however you want it um, and there's very few programs that can do that that can say hey I'll give you whatever you want however you want it it's in your hands so have fun, enjoy streaming, don't let it just be me, go get out there, get on your YouTube, your Justin TV, your Ustream, go stream it out and don't take my word for it, try all the progr programs, I think you're going to make the same conclusion I did. Um, and right now XSplit is free, so just go, you can be a beta tester, or just sign up on the website, it's free. I mean what else What else can they give you, I don't, I don't know, free box of chocolates, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, take care guys, bye.